Hey guys, this is Asia Renee here. Um, I am here to show you guys how I got this this look. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. So right now I'm just gonna go in with my uh, white eyeliner from um, Wet and Wild, and I'm just gonna put that all over my eyelid and above my crease. And we're just gonna put that there. Um, just so that our color pigments come off a little bit more brighter. So we're just going to um, take that up to our, our crease and um, bring it down around to our, under our eye um, for when we put our color under our eye. So we're just going to keep on taking that there like so. And after that, we're going to um, blend all of this out just so it's not so harsh and it's able for our colors to be come, come on and not crease up. We're just going to um, blend that out all over. So after that, um, we will set our liner and our concealer above with the Laura Mercier um, Setting Translucent Powder. We're just going to set that. So then I, I then picked up my BH Cosmetics foil palette and I took that yellow, well it's like an orange actually, that orangish, orangish color, sorry, um, and I used like a flat detailed brush so I could put it into my inner tear duct. And you're just going to um, actually build up these colors until you get the color payoff that you want. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now, I'm just kind of building this color up. So then after that I'm taking that yellow from the same palette and we're going to put it um, right next to it and just go up a little bit higher into the crease. So my next color is that green color from MAC and I believe it's called Boloroma. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. So we're just going to place that right beside the yellow. I kind of felt like these two colors on camera look the same, but I promise they're not. I probably should have tried to use a darker green, but it's okay. So we're going to then take that blue and pop it right beside that green. And like I said, we're just um, blending up all of our colors. So right now we're not going to um, focus on um, blending the colors together. We're going to do that after we get the color pigments that we want. So we're going to just kind of take the excess of the blue and kind of drag it on the top of each color. And then we're going to take a pointed blending brush and that's a, it's a clean one, um, obviously. And we're just going to blend that out so it's not as harsh. So then at this point, I am just going back in with whatever colors I feel that lost its pigment as I was blending and... Um, we're just going to build it back up and just keep on back and forth blending and building back up. So right now what I'm doing is just kind of, like I said earlier, blending those colors together and you kind of want to um, not in, not necessarily get any more um, color, but to just take whatever's left on your brush and kind of, like, I guess sweep the brush into the other color to blend out the colors. So it looks like it's transitioning into the next color and not just kind of there. So right now we're just kind of going back and forth blending. So after that, I did take a um, detailed brush to do my waterline, and I just took that blue and kind of connected it to the the outer part of the other blue, of the top of the um, eye, and then I just did the same colors I did on the top. So right now I'm going in with the green, and after that I will go in with the yellow, and then after that I will um, put more of that orange in my in inner tear duct 
also on the bottom lash. So after that, I just took a, a simple white eyeliner. This one's from Wet n Wild. And I put it um, on my waterline. I think just to give it a little bit more pop. I didn't want to do black. I feel like that would kind of change the whole look of this. So I went ahead and did my falsies and my mascara, also my foundation off of camera and I did use the Laura Mercier Maple Foundation so right now I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, contour kit I'm going to highlight and contour my face And I am still kind of learning my makeup, so if anyone has any tips or tricks, or just different techniques they find that works best for them, um, you can just let me know in the comments below, and I'll be glad to um, kind of try these um, different techniques out. So right now I'm just blending out everything with my Damp Beauty Blender. So after that, I'm just going to go ahead and set the um, highlight with my Laura Mercier Setting Translucent Powder. So I'm going to go back into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and grab the lightest brown and start contouring my face. I normally do like a, I guess a, a deep or sh like I guess sharp contour, but for, some, for this look I just wanted to kind of go um, soft and warm. Just gonna contour the cheeks, the forehead, your chin, your jaw, and a little bit of your nose. Well, not a little bit, all of it, but you know what I mean. Then we're just gonna blend out the nose contours so it's not so harsh. And then I'm going to go ahead and start baking at this point. And you kind of want to... Um, put some of that translucent powder under your contour for your cheeks just to uh, make it more defined have that sharp contour look so right now I'm just taking a compressed um, foundation powder and putting that on my um, areas where I, I didn't put any um, translucent powder So at this point, I'm just going to start bronzing my face to warm it up some more. And 
And at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and um, wipe off all of the translucent powder. So I am going to go ahead, oh, I guess I, sorry, at this point in the video I thought my highlight was a little too strong so I kind of wanted to calm it down and I just added some more um, of the pressed foundation. So now at this point I am going to highlight my face with the MAC Global Glow highlighter. I'm just going to put that on the highest point of your cheekbones. We're going to put that on your cheek, your temple, your forehead, the center, down the center of your nose, your cupid's bow, and I put it on my chin. So I did go to the store today, and I... Definitely forgot that I just bought this new highlight from um, Wet n Wild. I don't remember the, n the name to it, but I wanted to add some more and look at the color payoff it gives. Like, I was so shocked. I was literally just a glowing, and it was just like a few swipes of it. I loved it. So right now I'm just going to um, go back in and put some blush on. And I went back in to kind of make sure my highlight was there. So I bought this new MAC lipstick. Um, it just came in the mail today and I bought this wet and wild taupe liner that I'm applying to my lips right now. I'm just going to line my lips and then put that MAC on, that MAC lip lipstick. I absolutely love this lip color, but I felt like it was missing something, so I went ahead and just added some gloss. It was an old gloss I had from a while back, and it was like a L'Oreal. Um, it was a L'Oreal gloss, so I'm just gonna apply that on the top of this. But I really do love this color; it's super pretty, nice natural looking color. And here is the finished look. If you like, please subscribe and, and like this video. If you have any things to suggest, just comment in the comment box below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.